welcome to Film Theory News. I'm Eliza Jones and this is Doing Spectacular. Thank you, Eliza. Today we'll be informing you all about local air pollution. We will have an expert come in to answer our questions. And now, here is Mr. Wedgwood. He is an expert at air quality science. So, Mr. Wedgwood, what actually is air pollution? Hello, great to be here. So, air pollution is put simply, gases that, can, that are harmful to nature and humans in the air. Pollution can also be particles, which is solid matter that's light enough to float. Examples are dust, pollen and soot. Can you tell us something that adds to air pollution? This is a good question, Dylan. There are several causes of air pollution, but natural and man-made. Some natural causes could include sandstorms, forest fires and volcanic eruptions. But here in Hartford, man-made pollution is more common, especially from fumes from cars like nitrogen dioxide, NO2. Well, what is nitrogen dioxide then? Well, nitrogen dioxide is the most dangerous gas that's created in car engines and to create it you need oxygen and nitrogen in a really hot environment, so car engines are a perfect place for it. Well, what are the health impacts for humans from pollution? Pollution affects three major organs, the heart, the lungs and the brain. It can cause asthma, get into our blood and damage our brains. Thank you, Mr Wedgwood. I think we understand air pollution so much more now. We have a reporter on the case now. It's over to you, Toby. Thanks to Hartford Studio, we're here at Gascoigne Way, one of the busiest roads in our area. And we're here to interview some members of the public and um, to see what they think about the air, the, the local air pollution. And we've got Sky here. She lives on Gascoigne Way. Hi. Uh, what, do you, what do you think about the local air pollution? I think pollution is very bad here because of all the traffic. And that causes more air pollution. And did you know that if you leave your car on for a minute, then the pollution that's released um, through the exhaust pipe can fill up 150 balloons. I also believe that car sellers should lower their price of electric cars so that more people can buy them and it will be safer for the environment. That's great. What, do you, what are you doing to reduce local air pollution on Gascoigne Way? I'm raising awareness for my family and friends and, and I'm also walking to school instead of driving. You seem to know a lot about this. Do you think most people know about what's happening with the air pollution? No, because I live on the other side of that road um, and I think that people who do idle don't notice it. Um, I also notice that more people are driving instead of walking and they should be walking instead of driving. That's great. Thanks, Toby, for that great report. We're here to meet a passionate pr protester. There is a lot of noise in the town centre at the moment because there's been a big protest about air pollution. Oh, here he is. Hello, Oliver. We know there's been a lot of angry people lately, but we've only heard the politician's side. What do you think about air pollution? I think it is the greatest health and environmental issue facing humanity. Why do you think that? Because before you know it, we won't have the we won't have a planet to live on, since we won't be able to cope with the air conditions. With all this pollution, the planet's ozone layer will get damaged, and our lungs will breathe nitrogen dioxide, which can be very bad for us. Hmm, that's really insightful. But how can we get people to listen? I think children are the way in for this issue because people love children more than anyone else. Did you know that children are the most likely to get ill because they're closer height wise to the fumes from the exhaust pipe which is where most pollution comes comes out and they have smaller lungs we should convince adults to help children by buying electric cars and walking and cycling more wow that's a brilliant idea okay back to you eliza thank you charlotte and ruby for that outstanding report certainly so today we met mr wedgwood and heard his scientific facts along with Toby with his outstanding report. Charlotte and Ruby afterwards, so great work team. It is clear that the main issue that we need to tackle is pollution. Thank you and goodbye.